Sex education is still taboo in certain sections of society, making it difficult to effectively combat sexually transmitted diseases. This was highlighted by representative of the Pan American Health Organization, World Health Organization, Dr. William Aduku, as the body partners with the Ministry of Public Health on its HPV campaign. He noted that the majority of persons are bringing an argument they previously raised when condoms were introduced. I'm hoping that we are not going to have any issues about, um, oh yes, but um, uh, if you have the, the vaccine, that, that means the, that the child can, can go around and be, um, and be moral or, 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 or do whatever they have, no, or do whatever they want to do. Research has not shown that. HPV, the human papilloma virus, causes several diseases including cervical cancer and genital warts. The countrywide campaign, which will be launched in the third week of October, will target girls between the ages of 9 to 13 years. And approximately 70% of cancer cases could be avoided through HPV vaccination of adolescent girls. 70%. And then um, we have to think about the losses to, to the community, the losses to family, the economic uh, loss in terms of taxation that, that one will not get because the person will not be uh, economically no, no viable. 70% of cancer uh, cases can be avoided. An HPV pilot campaign was previously launched in 2012. However, it was later halted due to a shortfall in the supply of vaccines. Dr. Artemisia Hamilton explained that this time the government is funding most of the vaccines. What is our strategy? Immunization because that population resides in the school. Most of the girls within that age are in school. So we will be working in conjunction with the Ministry of Education to immunize girls in school. We have already begun the partnership with our private pediatricians for mothers who do not want to take their child to have the vaccine in school that they can actually take them to the pediatrician who will give them the vaccine. And for all girls that we cannot, especially in the remote areas or those who are out of school, to have outreach activities in the regions, in their villages, so that we can get every girl within that age group immunized. The vaccines will be available at the healthcare facilities with cold storage, some private pediatricians and in schools. HPV vaccines are administered to persons between the ages of 9 to 26. The officials are looking to target 36,000 young girls during the campaign and continue making the vaccines available thereafter. Baby Katoon, Newsroom.